What is up everybody, Golden Holden here, and today we are going to be testing out these two different types of masking. These are from Tolber, and this is just the micro shield, and this is for acids and stuff. And this red one is for different metal plating solutions, such as nickel and gold. And here is just a list of their products, and we're going to be testing it on this knife. So today I'm going to be plating this with our 24 karat gold and hopefully it turns out pretty good. So I am going to be taking apart this knife to plate it and I'm just going to quickly do that right now and this is always a good idea when you are plating things to take videos of it so you know how they are put back together after you're done taking them apart. So here's our knife all laid out and I took this apart and put it out so it looks neat and I'm going to be plating these two little handle pieces as well as the blade and then I want to plate these little copper rings as well as the clip for your pocket and then I'm going to keep all these screws as well as the little pin that goes through the knife. I'm going to leave those untouched and then the outside of the knife I'm going to leave untouched as well. And then I'm going to plate everything on the inside of the knife in gold. So these little spacers for the knife as well as this bar to keep the knife from over rotating is all going to be gold. So we got these little spacers for the inside of the knife and we're just going to plate those. And here are those all plated in gold and I think they turned out great and then they look pretty good. Now I'm going to be moving on and plating this piece. But first I have to get our mother's mag and polish it up so it looks good. Now that we got it all nice and shiny, we can put it in the gold. Here is that clip piece all plated in our gold and it came out pretty good. and. We'll just wipe it off and look how good that turned out. Now we have these little copper spacers that went in between the blade. So I went ahead and polished them all up so they look nice and shiny. And here are those copper pieces plated in gold and they look pretty good. Now we got our handle pieces and we have to polish these up. So I'm going to get this little block to polish it up and this is from Original Dead Sea Minerals and this helps polish little items up really easily. It has a three-step process, and I think it's going to work pretty good. So I got these pieces polished up, and you can tell the difference between me polishing it and not polishing it. So after polishing both these handle pieces up, I left the outsides unpolished so I can plate the insides in gold, and it will be polished and looks nice. Now I got to work on this knife blade and polishing this up is going to be kind of tricky. Now this little spacer piece that stops the blade is going to be kind of tricky to get masked so we're going to do that. So I got these two sides of this masking ready and we're going to first start off with the red kind and we're going to be masking this little uh, stopper piece for the blade. Now I'm going to be using the red masking to paint onto this brush and the process that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be masking our items and then waiting 24 hours, masking our items again and then waiting for another 24 hours before we do the plating. This just helps ensure that the masking won't come off and it will work properly. Again, this is a test, so I'm just testing the two different maskings to see if they work good and if I would recommend them for the bath plating. 
Now we're going to move on to our orange side and we're going to be painting these little nubs on the side of the knife with the orange masking. Again, we are going to put this on this handle as well and we're going to let it sit for 24 hours before we do the second coat. All right, now it is day two and we're going to be working on just masking these parts again in the same area. And for this little item, I am only doing the ends and leaving the middle because the ends you can see on the outside of the knife, but the middle part you can see on the inside. So I want the middle gold and the outsides the gray color. All right, so I did let these sit for over two days and this one has a little bit of masking on the edges of this little nub and I wanna clean that up. And these are stuck to the board and I can't get them up, so one second. All right, I finally got these up and they did stick to our cardboard, so I am going to have to clean these up and get the masking off of the side that we want to plate and polish it up again. I'm going to start with using my fingernails to see if that works and if it doesn't I'll move on to using a razor blade to get this off and hopefully we don't scratch our pieces. So I got all the stuff off of our pieces and I just need to polish them up again and then we can plate them. We're going to start off by plating this little piece first in our 24 karat gold. Alright, that piece just came out and it is looking pretty good. It's pretty small and hard to film, but it turned out pretty good. Now we have to get a razor blade and remove this masking and I'm just going to slide it up on the edges. And this piece doesn't really matter on the inside where the masking is, it just matters on the very ends. So I'm just going to be cutting it off and getting the ends off. And to what I see, this masking did a pretty good job and uh, it worked pretty good and it didn't come off in the electro clean. We had problems with that, but yeah, it looks good. Now I'm going to be plating this knife in our gold. So we'll put it into this electro clean and get it going. Now I'm going to be putting it into our tri-val and getting that small layer of gold deposited on it so it can get ready to plate. Now I have this copper strike solution because I don't want to risk at all this knife corroding so I'm going to be plating it in the copper strike for about a minute. Now we're going to be moving on to the nickel after the copper strike and plating it in nickel. Now that we have it plated in nickel, we're going to be plating it in our 24 karat gold. Let's take it out of our solution and see how it looks. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to be doing this process with all of our pieces and it's just going to be a rinse and repeat process. Look at this knife and how good it turned out. The blade looks great and the masking stayed on. And now we're going to take off the masking by just doing the same technique by rubbing the razor blade up and getting under that masking so we can peel it off. 
So I finally got that all off and it looks pretty good. These are two silver pieces now and it looks good with the blade. Now we'll move on to that same process that we did with the blade with these handle pieces and get it going. Now that it is out of the gold, it is looking really good. And I noticed that this is peeling up just a little bit and it leaked under our masking, which is not the best, but we can fix it by polishing it up. So we can see that the gray side is all masked and it worked and the inside is gold, but it did get gold on the edges so we're gonna have to polish that off but I think it looks good now it's time for the other piece Now that it is out of the gold, it is looking really good. And I noticed that this is peeling up just a little bit and it leaked under our masking, which is not the best, but we can fix it by polishing it up. I did notice on this piece, there is a little bit of gold here and along the edges. But other than that, this piece looks pretty good and we're just going to assemble it and we are going to polish off the edges as well. Now it is time to assemble this whole piece and put it all together. So I noticed both the red and the orange masking did peel up during the plating process. And I think that is due to just sitting in the plating liquids for so long and I think it would be best to use this masking for brush plating. Now that we got this piece all assembled, look how good this knife is looking. I think it looks great and it turned out really well. As far as the masking goes, uh, I would not recommend using it in the Pro Lab, and I would recommend using it for brush plating. And here's why I say that, because the it was just in the liquid for way too long, and it was making the edges of the masking peel up, and it was plating on areas we didn't want it to plate on. But other than that, it worked really good. If you guys did enjoy this video, check out our other videos on our YouTube for content just like this. And if you're wondering where all this stuff came from, you can check out the links in the description below. And if you guys want to give us ideas of what you want to see plated next, just leave us a comment. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.